Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and there is Halla and today I'm super excited because it is time to restart my absolute favorite project which is of course Nathaniel's eyeshadows. Um, I think it, this is now my fourth year doing it and I like to refresh it in the beginning of the year to have a little break and then start fresh and uh, yeah I'm so excited this project of course was started by Alexandra Schirstein who unfortunately is not doing videos at the moment but she will be linked down below for you anyway and um, yeah everyone is doing this project pretty differently in their own ways I have usually had five randomized shade and I'm always trying to hit pan on every shade. I don't have usage goals or yeah, I just pretty much try to hit pan on every shade. If I fail, then I fail and uh, then it's gonna be here for the whole year. But yeah, this year I think I'm going to drop my shades to for just it's gonna be a busy year for me and uh, yeah I think four will be more manageable and then hopefully we will have more progress to show its update and uh, yeah last year I had a focus palette this year I will not be doing that I have my panda palette as a focus and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I also like to track my pan, well, I almost choked, <laughs> pan percentage. So once we removed all the totally empty pans from last year's list, I now have, we're starting the year with 159 pans from total 478 eyeshadows. And that gives me a nice percentage of 33.5. Three, 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 three. So that's the start. Should we have a goal? Should we aim to forty percent? Maybe that's that's like a for this year. I think it's manageable. Let's let's have that as a goal. But then the fun part. Let's randomize some numbers. I have a random number generator here and we are randomizing four eyeshadows and uh, there you have it two, 103, 132 and 161 and uh, I sometimes do this on camera to see what the, the shade or uh, the palette it comes from but I think I'm just gonna Grab the palettes and then we're gonna look at the shade together to make it a bit easier. But I'll be right back. Well, it turned out that I don't have that many palettes, so I basically know the shades because three of them body potted shades. So first up was uh, this color. This comes from one of the chocolate bars gold chocolate bar I think that I just depotted and um, yeah just a nice light shimmer shouldn't be too hard but then we got uh, at least a depotted thingy and yeah I swatched them already uh, this guy a dark navy shimmer uh, not the deepest pan so I should be fine I am kind of wearing similar thingies today um, good thing I wasn't working on this last year or oh, like in my panel palette last year I had this exact same color so I have it here again I don't mind I like blue so it's fine and then the last depotted shade was uh, this guy and I think this is from the body shop or it is from the body shop because it says so on my list and um uh, yeah just a standard pan thingy brown has a kind of a sheen but 
it swatches basically like so. Okay, so on my face, no problem. And then the only palette I got is this guy, the Magic Mini from Juvia's Place, which is a beautiful and colorful. And uh, the shade I got is Puzzle, which is this guy over here. I already have a nice dip in it. It's a beautiful color, so yeah, that's going to be fun. And that's going to go well with my Panda palette. I was a bit worried that it's a similar shade that I have in there, because that's one of my rules that I don't have to work on something that is the exact same as my Panda palette shade. But this is actually prettier than the purple in there, so I prefer to work with this. And I have already swatched them for you, and this is the color story. So this is just a pale, <laughs> pale color. It has kind of a fat shift. <laughs> it it in the pan it looks more kind of a purple I don't know. And then we have that's not very shimmery through, but then this kind of a dual chromey purple, and then this matte, which kind of, or like, almost a matte, you can't really see the sheen. But yeah, <laughs> that's the color story. Kind of a mess, kind of a fun colors, I don't know. But that's what we're working with, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully I will have some pans to show you, or at least one pan <laughs> to show you next time. I mean, this guy has a nice dip in it, so shouldn't take too long. And also, this has some use in it, shouldn't take too long with the deep span again. But yeah, we will see. <laughs> that is basically everything for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time hopefully soon ish i'm still a mess so <laughs> thanks so much for watching bye